Oh dear god, we are back. Alright, so if you'll recall, we're trying to get that lever to stay down. That yes, we need to pull that down as well, but in order to unlock this door, if I'm not mistaken, we have to have this one down as well. Because... Okay, no, I... <laughs> Shit. Okay, yeah. One of our uh, viewers had pointed out that all you really need to do is pull down that right one. It's correct. <laughs> Are you telling me? Are you fucking telling me that I stacked all that furniture on that fucking lever for no reason? That's so weird. Why did I do that? Why did I do that on my first run through? Because that's what I was basing them this one off of, obviously. Uh, wow. Yeah, folks. That's the kind of action you can only get here. Alright, hatchet, don't care. We've got some, what are these, like, dowels or something? Or oh, stakes. Okay. In other words, more pencils. Alright, so... we got... the barricade situation. Obviously, we're does not look like we're getting to that door anytime soon, considering some of these things I can't lift and manipulate. Like the barricades, for example. As great as that would be if you could, for instance, come up to a barricade and pick it up and, like, throw it at a zombie. <laughs> as unrealistic as that would be, it would be awesome. But yeah, so that door is pretty much off limits. Okay, so here's... I think what is a, a puzzle of sorts and we may or may not go down that route because if I'm not mistaken if it is a puzzle route it's gonna take like 20 years to get through it but then again we got nothing but time uh, okay so we have a bench and a wagon this seems to be snaking back to, okay I remember this place from previous playthrough the creepy like classroom or the briefing room for your your cult or whatever the hell was going on down here. Uh, these boots up here. What are these? Those are worn. I've got I've got some superior ones, so I don't need it. What have we here? A worn gambeson compared to our crude gambeson, which appears to be better. I th let me double check. Yeah, yeah. So we're fine the way we are. And what is most certainly a washroom, what with the basins and the drain and so and of course the bathroom. Alright. There are so many bathrooms in this dungeon. I don't know, it makes me think that maybe that there was like a an anxiety problem. Like an epidemic of anxiety from living underground and people worried about whether or not they're gonna be able to make it to a bathroom <laughs> I don't know it just seems like there's a lot but then again I'm guessing there were supposed to be a lot of people living down here at some point alright now here is something so we got a key but this is something I didn't know you can take the lockbox with you and like store things in it how freaking awesome is that yes of course the answer is unbearably freaking awesome although all told it's it's bearable oh shit yeah so we need to use the key it was this one I believe indeed ooh loot I see loot is that all? damn it okay okay so the tough leather vest that would be replacing the waistcoat or the heavy leather vest. I thought this was a waistcoat. Let's compare these real quick. Yeah, should have stuck with the heavy leather vest. So be it. Clearly designed for a woman. But I don't care. Um, we have the leather van braces. The crude leather van braces. Yeah, alright. Unfortunately, none of that loot is going to do us any good. Is this another bill hook up here? Yeah. Uh, ooh, another bill hook. Now this, a sword. Now that's better than the machete, I would think, when we're... Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, I would take the sword. There we go. Alright, not a total loss. This room. Um, okay, so... Checked over here. Let me just double check, scan this again. Let's try and run through these chairs at full speed and see how far we make it. Oh, we did it! I was totally expecting the face plant. Okay, so I believe... We already investigated over here, right? Is that loot box? Yeah, the washroom slash bathroom. Okay. Bit careless now, running very quickly all over the place. But, uh, no zombies yet, so that's cool. I like the tiling in... Oh! Let me close this door real quick. But yeah, I, I like the, the tile, the floor texture there. I don't know what it is about it. It's aesthetically appealing, obviously. I enjoy it. Let's go with the axe. Put the torch where hopefully the door won't hit it. Whoop. There we go. Alright, start with the overhead. You know how we do. See if I can get him to come forth. Yes. Now I've got him with the... <laughs> Take that. Yes. Nice. Very nice. And he had a cleaver. I'm not interested in that. Not interested in these clothes either. Give me my torch. And my sword. Thank you very much. Oh, come on. Come on. We'll awkwardly shamble over the corner there. So you know what's going on right there. That would be a health salve. Oh, yes. But we're not going to use it just yet. We're probably going to end up dying before we ever use it. And I'm going to kick myself. But that's life. Okay. Left turn. I always double click that thinking you can search inside that. Like the top can open or something. Almost like a child's school desk or something. Okay, so there's a waistcoat versus our heavy leather vest. Not even, not even close. Bucket, nothing over it. Basin, can't move it. Random shit, crutch, okay, nothing else cool. Now nice and slow, nice and easy, nice and zoomed out. That's how we do it. Never know when a zombie's gonna run up on you. Okay. We're cool for now. Okay, so lore. Something about how they've been working to reanimate corpses or, or create zombies or something. Another book, Deconstructing Humanity. It's got blood on it, of course, and blood on the wall here. Appears to have been something fateful that occurred right there. And random stuff. Okay. Some sort of operating slash torture chamber or something. I don't know what this is. Take a peek through the old door. Oh, hello. I'm just going to shut this door. Nothing to worry about. Should I go after him? Or now nah, we're going to keep exploring here. Um, this is another book. Some sort of record of patience clients or something. Empty cupboard. Ooh, I've got something right here. Fucking, like, bright, shiny-ass shirt. Worn waistcoat. Nope. I don't want to wear that shiny-ass shirt in here for some reason. It just doesn't seem right. Oh, God, bathroom. So this is probably a bathroom as well, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So. Interesting. So this is the hallway I would have in. <laughs> there, now we finally fall on our face. That was the hallway I would have entered. Back here where the zombie was. Okay. Alright. Prepare for battle. And the zombie has wandered over here. It's got one of those long-ass hooks. God, I hate that shit. 
It's all right. Let's move up into the light. Oh, there's one right there with a crutch. Obviously, we only want one at a time. We want to do it quickly. Oh, shit, this one's coming this way. He's going to end up getting me caught between the two of them, isn't he? Little son of a bitch. I'm just holding a second to see if maybe he'll turn around, then I'm going to try and cut this way and go deal with him over here. This one doesn't seem too aggressive. Of course, the bastard's not going to move. Come on now. All right, whatever. Impatience wins again. Oh, he's ready to go. Oh, and the other one's ready to go, too. Oh, my hell, what the shit just happened there? Oh, this is could be very bad in just a moment. Oh, shit. What am I doing? I have no idea. <laughs> I, I was too worried about this zombie here to focus on the fight, I guess, and I fucked up. Yeah. And of course the um my health my health is gone. That sucks. That's alright. Now we weren't Were we on the second floor? I don't think we were, right? If we were on the first floor then I guess we have to start all over, but maybe there's a respawn between floors. I could be wrong. I'm just spitballing. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. It's sad that this current dungeon delve just came to an end, but we're gonna start again. And uh, each time, hopefully, we're getting better. I don't know if that's true or not, but we're trying to get better every time. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoy it. And we'll see you next time for some hopefully more successful Exanima.